Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another amazing episode of History of the Marvel Universe. Most Marvelites will at least be somewhat familiar with the origin of Spider-Man. After being bitten by a radioactive spider, high school student Peter Parker gained sensational spider-like powers and attempted to cash in. After his first television appearance, a thief ran by while Spider-Man was leaving. In his hubris, Peter allowed the robber to go free, choosing not to get involved. Then, several days later, Peter returned home from another public appearance to find the police outside his Forest Hills house. He quickly learned that his Uncle Ben, the man who had raised him, had been shot and killed by a burglar. The police had the killer cornered in an old warehouse, and so Peter donned his Spider-Man costume and took off in a rage. Peter confronted the killer, knocking him out and making a startling revelation. Ben's killer was in fact the burglar that Spider-Man neglected to stop earlier. Peter left the murderer for the police and disappeared into the night, having learned that with great power, there must also come great responsibility. But why did the burglar break into the Parker residence in the first place? What's his story? Well, that was revealed years later in a story that culminated in 1980's Amazing Spider-Man number 200. It's revealed that during the prohibition of the 20s and early 30s, the Forest Hills home belonged to a bootlegger named Dutch Malone. Malone was eventually busted by Elliot Ness, the leader of the Untouchables, but before his capture, the wily criminal left a treasure hidden somewhere in the house. The same house where, decades later, May and Ben Parker would raise their nephew Peter. Meanwhile, Dutch Malone was transferred from prison to prison, eventually sharing a cell with a young thief. This younger criminal overheard Malone talking in his sleep about the house where he hid his treasure. When he was eventually released from prison, this man broke into the Forest Hills home of Ben and May Parker looking for the treasure. When the burglar grabbed May, Ben tried to protect his wife, but was fatally shot as a result. As we know, the killer was captured by Spider-Man and left for the police, but he was eventually released once again. By the time he got out, May and Peter had moved out of their old home, and May had decided to rent out the property. Again seeking Malone's fortune, the burglar rented the house from a real estate agent who was ignorant of his crimes. He spent the next few weeks ripping apart the house, but found no trace of the treasure. While all that was happening, May Parker fell ill and was admitted to the hospital. After recovering enough to be released, May checked in to the Restwell nursing home under the care of Dr. Ludwig Reinhardt. After that, the burglar came to Restwell to intimidate Reinhardt into helping him with his plan. He felt the need to stop Peter's frequent visits so he could interrogate the elderly woman into revealing the location of Malone's fortune. Reinhardt accomplished this by convincing Peter that May had suffered another heart attack and died. How he was able to conjure this illusion will be clear in just a moment. Distraught, Peter decided to visit his old home in Forest Hills only to find the interior torn apart. It was then that Peter realized that he had heard the name Ludwig Reinhardt once before. It was the name of a false identity that had once briefly been used by a man named Quentin Beck. A man who also happened to be the villainous master of illusion known as Mysterio. Beck had again adopted the pseudonym of Ludwig Reinhardt in order to fool the elderly into signing their possessions over to him upon their death. After learning of Malone's supposed treasure, Beck tied up the burglar to search for it himself. However, after failing to find anything, and after another battle with Spider-Man, Mysterio decided it wasn't worth the time and effort. But before escaping, Mysterio injected Spider-Man with a powerful sedative that dulled his abilities. Despite being temporarily depowered, Peter went out to search for answers. 
While he did, the burglar successfully cut his bonds and escaped. And so, when Peter returned home, his uncle's killer was there waiting for him. Peter attacked in a blind rage, seemingly with the intent to kill. However, the burglar was able to knock out the weakened hero by striking him with the butt of his gun. He brought Peter to the abandoned warehouse where Spider-Man had defeated him years prior. Here he revealed his objective and left Peter tied up while he went to begin the next part of his plan. Peter, however, escaped and, as Spider-Man, followed the burglar back to the Restwell nursing home. The killer shot Spider-Man, leaving him for dead, and returned to the warehouse with a very much alive May Parker in tow. They of course found Peter missing, but Spider-Man arrived on the scene to confront the killer once more. The fight moved away from May and the burglar pleaded to know why Spider-Man hounded him so. Peter impulsively unmasked himself, revealing his connection to the burglar's victim. The burglar was terrified, convinced that the masked vigilante would kill him and attempted to escape. Spider-Man pursued him, but the criminal's heart couldn't take the intense strain. The man who had killed Ben Parker suffered a fear-induced heart attack and died. After that, May was brought to the hospital to recover once again. Here she revealed to Peter that she and Ben had discovered what must have been Malone's treasure years earlier. However, the box was corroded and whatever was inside had long since rotted away. At the end of the day, they still had each other, and the terror wrought by the burglar was finally at an end. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment, and share it on your favorite social media. As always, the issues referenced in this video are listed in the description below if you would like to read them for yourself, as well as links to my various social medias, including my Discord server, where you can join the discussion with other friends, followers, and fans of the show. So until next time, true believers, Excelsior!